Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again, The Vlogs of DP. So today's video is just like my title says, is going to be all about how to become a doctor. Now, this knowledge is that I am a doctor in the time of the day. I am going to share a few tips and secrets to how to become a doctor. Because while I was in my school, uh, whenever I said I wanted to become a doctor, all my teachers advised me to take my science subject, learn biology really good and go score good marks. Then I joined for my repeating courses and there I was taught about biology, physics and chemistry. Okay, but nobody told me how to become a doctor. They taught me the subjects to become a doctor but not how to become a doctor. Now, I know this video is after a pretty long time because I was busy with my family. Yes, I got my professional life, a family life apart from social life. But thanks to all of you who checked on me and who asked me to make new content because you guys are the reason why I am still making contents on YouTube because of your support. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and click the bell icon if you want to receive the notification every time I upload a video. Okay, coming back uh, to my tips and secrets to how to become a doctor. This is some things that I'm going to tell you that nobody told me and I believe a lot of myth behind becoming a doctor. The first thing is, do you have a relative who asks you how much is your marks in biology or how much is your score in your board exams or are you the topper of the class? Well, I wasn't, yet I have a degree called MBBS and I am called Dr. Sheridan Shubbs. How did that happen? Okay, if I'm going to tell you the secret, probably my mom is going to murder me because she doesn't want to know that I was uh, really not good with my studies during my school days. Okay, now maths used to be my least favorite subject and I have flunked at times in maths. Okay, not in science because science was my favorite subject and that is the only subject that I studied at least whenever I was studying. I was an average student in the school, uh, not a topper. I've never become a topper, I think. Maybe in first standard, I scored some good marks for my unit tests. Uh, I, was, I was always this, you know, into sports. I do a lot of uh, sports activities and I participate in everything, everything that happened at our school. I was a very cultural person <laughs> and I was very bad with my studies. And I advise you to do the same, not to be an average student, but I advise you to participate in a lot of competitions because that develops the sportsman spirit in you okay that is my advice number one don't just go behind studies you need to have that sportsman spirit in you for achieving a lot of things in your life okay number two i wanted to become a doctor but i did not have anybody like say my family members or my friends or anybody related to the medical field nor the science subject after 12th in the jnm don't know any area and uh, alhamdulillah i am uh, yes i am a doctor now but it all happened by gathering a lot of information bits of information that i received from here and there and in care and correct period then i was struggling because i get a lot of dms and i nearly had nobody to tell me how to become a doctor so here i am going to speak about the steps to become a doctor first after 10th, you need to take the science subject, which we all know. And if you ask me, is maths compulsory? I wasn't a math student, okay? Because I used to hate maths. I have no brain working for me for mathematics. Okay, so I took uh, home science, not even IP. I took home science with my biology. Uh, but you know, I advise if you're good at mathematics, you should take maths while you're taking uh, science because Number entrance repeating the summit. There is a subject called physics, okay, in science, which uh, needs a lot of support from maths. But if you're good at maths, physics is going to be a bit more easy for you. While you're in 12th, do they count your marks for entrance examination? No. That happens for engineering, but not for MBBS, not for medical field. Okay. So you just have to be good with your subjects. Okay, now you being good in your board exam is going to help you assess yourself. If you're good at uh, your science, your physics and chemistry, you have a good chance of cracking your NEET. Okay, now coming to after 12th, I don't know if you have an entrance examination. Uh, I've heard, I just heard news that entrance examination of Pornam and uh, my mom, she uh, actually inquired about this and a lot of them told her to entrance examination on after this and she has to crack entrance examination 
to get into a medical college. And then I had to join PC Thomas, though I knew that place was going to be hell for me, yet I wanted to somehow join a medical college. Now, what it takes to become a doctor is your determination power. Okay, entrance verum, board exams verum, but your determination power to become a doctor is needed until the end. See, I know entrance is a real tough job, but what I want you to have is a belief in yourself that you're going to make this happen. Because if you don't believe yourself, nobody, trust me, nobody's going to believe you. The same thing happened in my case too, because the first time I lost my entrance examination, the first time I had a breakdown and I thought that I was actually having a feeling that I might not be able to make it. And they help you to think through your process of not making it happen. So they were helping me out, uh, giving me options other than MBBS. They gave me many other options. But honestly speaking, I had nothing in my mind other than uh, my profession, which is MBBS. Like I could not think anything beyond it. Trust me, I was so obsessed with it. There are different kinds of people who come to a medical college, okay? One is some people like me who really wanted to become a doctor. Second is a forced, that is, weetla pressure, weetla urbar alkar agraham, edokka poorthi gerikyan verunna adutha set alkar and all. Third, just because they are bright, they were able to crack neat and they were lucky enough to crack neat. So they cracked, angana vanna kore veru. Uh, about different different categories I to one core bear and down amless field. But I am that kind of that first category person who really wanted to you know come into this uh, field. Pinna everybody's page show you know show the uh how to get inside a medical like how to enroll into a medical college. That is one is the entrance examination. Uh, second is the management quota. I'm not really sure if all the colleges in Kerala have management quota right now because uh, according to the government, uh, most of the government seats are uh, going into the management quota. But other day, fees are the buying are high enough. That I don't really support that. Next thing is the NRI quota. Again, it's a huge amount of money. It's like a business, and I don't think that should be actually happening personally. Okay. So these are the ways how you get inside a medical college, how you enroll into a medical college. Okay. E three very important. Okay. Now. I'm going to break down this what I told you uh, this how to become a doctor the first thing that I told you is to have that sportsman spirit you need to have it throughout throughout because uh, even if it's an entrance examination it's like a running race the person who runs faster gets to win the second one is about picking your subject after 10th okay you can either go for biology with uh, some other subject other than mathematics if you're bad at mathematics but i do suggest you to pick mathematics if you're good at it or if you're at least an average at it because it's going to help you a lot with physics now number three is about joining a coaching class that's an entrance coaching class now a lot of you ask me do you have to join this class just after your 12th or in between your high school like in 11th or 12th now i think i hear a lot of classes been starting from your seventh standard itself but I'm not somebody who supports that because school life is unique and those years are not going to come back to your life again. None of the years are going to come back but school lives matter a lot. But when we school and down our sandoshum fun okay match which it is room entrance classes no we're not at any penalty pressure I see another guardian the left. So I think personally, I say, I suggest that you should actually enjoy your high school and after your 12 join an entrance coaching class and then give your full to that one year and number four something that i tried to tell you in the beginning of the video is that you don't have to be that smart kid in your class you don't have to be the class topper or your school topper you don't have to be that kind of bougie kind of person in your class well if you choose to be one there's no wrong in it you can go ahead but if you choose to be somebody like me don't forget to stay focused once you're done with all your leisure time the fifth thing that you need to know before you join a med school is that do you have it in you because joining a med school requires a lot of memorization skills every year you need to crack the exam and that requires a lot of memory power that is the first thing that you need to know whether you have it in you because i'm an average student i knew that i was good at memorizing things kind of a lot of competition used to happen at that point of time like memory test and i used to win at it so i knew i was good at memorizing things and the second thing that you need is skills skills to act quickly skills to know what to give what not to give skills to think on everything you know about skills to come into a conclusion 
अब उसके लिए इस वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट अलोंग विथ योर मेमोरी पावर नाउ अ लिटिल अबाउट द आई क्यू लेवल आई एम गोना टेल यू दैट यू नीड हाई लेवल ऑफ आई क्यू फॉर जॉइनिंग एम एल स्कूल और फॉर कम्प्लीटिंग इट बट यू डेफिनेटली नीड सम आई क्यू फॉर क्रैकिंग एन एंट्रेंस एग्जाम बिकॉज यू ऑल नो एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इज ए वेरी टफ एग्जामिनेशन राइट सो यू नीड टू स्टार्ट यूजिंग ऑल पार्ट ऑफ योर ब्रेन टू क्रैक दैट एंट्रेंस फॉर दैट रीजन यू नीड अ बेट ऑफ आई क्यू लेवल With that being said, these are the points that most of you ignore or most of you think that is not important to convey to a NEET aspirant. But I don't think in that way because these points are quite important for now and for your future. So I really hope these tips are going to help you in your future. And like I said in the beginning of this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my family by subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and of course by clicking the bell icon. Until next time, bye bye.